Mayday. Mayday. This is USS Allegheny requesting assistance from any Federation ships in the area. Please respond. We've sustained heavy damage across all decks. Power has been temporarily restored, but we don't know how much longer it will hold up. Crew casualties are heavy. Mayday! Mayday! Captain's log, stardate 54664.7. We are currently en route to system J356 after receiving a distress signal from the Federation Third Fleet under the command of Captain Namura. The Third Fleet was searching for the location of the Borg staging grounds and had apparently discovered a Borg base in J356. Namura was in the process of mounting an attack against the Borg when they were themselves attacked by several ships of unknown origin. Starfleet, fearing the worst, has dispatched the Enterprise to provide assistance to the Third Fleet. I only hope that we arrive in time. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Thomas, Nerd is a Human, and welcome back to Star Trek Armada 2. This is Mission 7, the Cavalry. I believe we are the Cavalry. And indeed, you can see in the bottom corner there, the Allegheny is waiting our assistance. Um, but to be honest with you, we don't really need to be getting to it straight away, or be it we do need to get there fairly quickly. So, to start with, I'll get myself another construction ship, and I'll tell my lovely ship here to go and sit in his seat, because obviously I do not want him to do anything stupid and make us lose the mission, like we have twice before. So, I'm going to get my uh, construction ship out, a couple mining ships once that's built. Complete. And that will set us up nicely. Yes, obviously you do need to we go and um the Borg. Lower So your rude, I was talking and surrender your ships. We will add your biological <laughs> okay, I think he's dead. And technological distinctiveness to our own. Your culture will adapt to service us. Resistance is futile. Okay, yes, so as you can see, the Borg have already discovered us and yeah, they will eventually get to Allegheny, but it's not like you want to race off straight away. In fact, if you do that, it's pretty suicidal, I recall. So we're going to build up our force a little bit. But I'm pretty sure we get attacked quite a lot at the start here. So I think it's really one of those Station where once I've got complete. these built, and a couple of mining fleets, not mining fleets. When I've got a couple of those set up, I'm going to go straight to getting myself a shipyard. Because I could really do with the ship straight away. We are in the bottom corner here, so we're fairly safe Starship. to sit in this corner. But uh, we really want to be pushing out because one moon and one uh, planet here isn't Station really going to be enough commencing. to keep us going for too long. So we'll, we'll get these mined out and we'll get our base Starship built complete. up. Um, yes, you actually join me today, ladies and gentlemen, with a new chair. So now when I move even the slightest, you don't get an annoying squeak Station like you complete. used to. How marvellous is that? It's very comfy, much better for my back. I think if you're going to be sitting at the desk recording this kind of thing, you definitely need to have a decent chair. Um, my chair is good, but Starship construction. this one, to be fair, is... Um, you know, it's, it's an improvement. It's a, it's a slightly nicer chair, and it's uh, the old one's a bit old. So we've got a new one now, which is lovely. It's have a mining facility down here. Starship complete. And we'll just get ourselves set up nice and early. And we have a sensor ray built over here. We're going to start exploring a little bit more. I'm still my construction ship because uh, I, I basically want to get myself a second base built up. So we'll send these lads out ahead. Make this fleet number one. And fleet number one, if you get yourselves moving in this direction, we will just explore. What I really need to do is get some venture classes out. Some early scouting is going to be a good idea. So we will do that, but for now I'll use these ships just to kind of slowly poke forward. Enemy Definitely engaged. something going on now, I sent my ships away. Ah! Oh, actually we better get ourselves back here very quickly. We do not have enough. Come on guys, quickly! No, they're running off. They're not happy. Okay. No, we're fine. We are fine. Now we're back! <laughs> back that way, lads. Back that way. Thank you very much. Okay, venture classes, go and explore. Don't go this way, we know what's over here. Alright, research facility. Honestly, I'm not really going to bother with these straight away. What I want to be doing is getting out some intrepids. We do have warp now, um, worth bearing in mind. Obviously, we didn't last mission and that was really irritating. The intrepids have those very powerful phases. I think they're twice as powerful as the Akira, so that's certainly going to help us. And, you know what, I'm just going to get the science station 
out immediately as well. Because honestly, I just want to get myself built up quickly. Because whilst I don't have to rush to Allegheny, I don't want to take forever to do it. Um, I need to be fairly quick about getting myself forward. So Intrepid should be a good medium one. It lets me spend my metal on... Ooh, there's a moon here. Yeah, it lets me spend my metal on... Yeah, it lets me spend my metal on the science facilities and things like that, which are expensive. So I'll just use the... I think these are just Dilithium, aren't they? Yeah, these are just Dilithium and crew. So we'll pump out a few of those, especially as we found a second Dilithium moon. I'm going to start with the base here, just to make sure that we are in a good position. Standing by. And that will also give us a bit of a defensive screen. Ah, okay, so there's some Latium over here, which is good. It's a bit open at this particular point, isn't it? So you've got to be a little bit careful. Um, and I have re recrewed the star base here because it does need a bit of a recrew work done to it. So we're going to get our star base out and this place built, and hopefully these ventures will find Bring something interesting. We have discovered then that we have quite a nice little corner of the map here. Asteroid fields blocking off a planetary, um, yeah, a good planetary gravity field over here. So between this and this, we actually have a very good position to block off our own base. So, I need a bit more metal, don't I? A bit shorter than that. Once I have enough metal, I'm going to build another star base here. I guess in the meantime, I might as well build one of these so that I can get a bit more metal. So, I will be doing that, and that means I can build it up. Now, actually, you'll see there is a kind of a minefield over here on the way to, well, what looks like on the way to Allegheny. So, we are going to have to clear that out momentarily. I do have a nice little fleet here. Picked up a random Akira. I don't remember ever building that. It must be part of the old fleet that got destroyed that was just lying around. So I did go and pick one up. Please don't go in that direction. You'll be shot by the torpedoes. Just run into that corner. No idea what's over there. And you guys go explore better. We've already been there. Ridiculous, lads. Okay, and whilst we're building this, we're kind of building up the metal we need. Once you have, what, two planets, two dilithium moons, you're pretty much where you need to be, aren't you? And yeah, this is nice because it plugs off this gap between the Cerulean Nebula and the asteroid field. And Station. actually, a starbase here should block off this little chunk as well. Well, largely it should anyway, so it should give us a good opportunity. Enemy Something engaged. just shot it. Ah, and that did not go well Station for that guy. Complete. Okay. Are you going to get out of there? Can you just run into that corner and we'll just see what's going on over there, if you can indeed survive. Over here, we've now built that, but we're not quite ready. So, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll send our fleet here. We'll call you number two. And you lads can go and head straight off to the minefield. Yeah, just bring yourself here and we will deal with those lads. That would be just marvellous. So, yeah, now we can clear this off. That would very much help us. We've got mainly a fleet of Intrepids. Oh, I really should build a few more repair ships because that's kind of the point of this mission, isn't it? Station yes, it's is indeed it is. Oh, oh, a diamond's just spawned right here. Okay. I'm just going to build a torpedo turret. Mr. LaForge, reroute all auxiliary the Enterprise should be able to do... Oh, they're just spawning right at my base. That's kind of rude. That's really rude. Okay, meanwhile, these guys are clearing that off, but my base is actually in a bit of trouble. <laughs> but that's annoying. How oh, very rude. Right, repair ships. Let's get some repair ships. We're going to need those. You guys, do you want to attack the thing that's shooting you? That would be grand. See, they do just seem to go for the Akiras first. It's weird. It's very... We it just seems to be the way that things go. We will okay. Comply. Second fleet, that's fine. Starfleet. You go and heal yourself up. And Order we will confirm. then go towards the Allegheny over here. The destruction of the Enterprise. We have lost our best hope of stopping the No! The it's Enterprise. happened again. We have failed. We have failed. Yeah, I sent my fleet away and immediately they spawned a huge fleet at my base. Brilliant. Well, okay, lesson learned. We'll do it again later. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing very well at this, am I? I like getting the Enterprise destroyed. Honestly, Picard, I do like you. Um, yes, well, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We will... Yes, as long as they don't spawn a huge army right in the corner of the map. I think that's a bit cheap. I, You know, it, it... 
Well, it's specifically just been blocking off from the asteroid field and the surrounding nebula. I just talked about that, and then they just spawned a huge fleet of many, many cubes and diamonds and things right at my base. Rude. Okay, fine. Message received. We'll do it again. A few more troubles this time we've set it up. Um, quite, I've already had one fleet destroyed here as I try and set up this base. But luckily with one torpedo Standing turret by. built, we are doing okay in terms of blocking it off nowadays. We'll send those two to go and deal with that. There is a cube going free, but the, <laughs> the fleet of voyages there shreds them up. You can see this time we've got a few torpedo turrets along the south end of the south. This end of our base this time, Station which hopefully complete. is going to be a much more sensible way of doing things. I need to get some repair ships out now. Starship construction. Um, uh, three will do fine, and a few more voyages will just be ideal. I need a bit more metal, Enemy so continuing engaged. with um, the ships Starship that need complete. just Return metal is probably a good idea, so that's what I will be continuing to do right now. Ah, colony ship. You can't. Acknowledged. I don't think the Borg can colonise this thing, so I don't quite know why they've built that. This adventure class ship is doing very well at not dying, so we're going to continue to send them out into random directions. You can probably tell by the map that I've sent them to certain places, but there we are. Lovely, and uh, we'll just get the last few intrepid sorted out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we need to go and deal with the Allegheny now because we're really going to get behind if we don't start on that. complete. By the time it's over here, we should be able to build that star base that we just about did last time when everything went wrong. Um, yeah, so it's pretty di Why is no one reacting to this? This is ridiculous. Okay, well, we'll get another torpedo turret about here. We'll get another one finally a bit further along. I don't know. Right, at this point, we have ourselves a fleet. You can be fleet number three because the first two have done terrible work. And we will come back and sort this out. Now we do indeed have enough metal. So we will build ourselves a starbase about here. Oh great, someone just built something with metal that very moment. How ruddy annoying. Right, we are going to take out these energy cannons this time. And hopefully... Very nice. Yeah, so I, it looks like we can definitely go under or over those asteroids, but okay, game, whatever. Yeah, we'll just tear in through these. Apart from the fact that one's dead. Well done, repair ships took you way too long. Acknowledge Starfleet. Oh, still in range. Acknowledge Starfleet. Stop killing it! I'm trying to keep it alive. Standing you, by. sir, head back to base. Station. Come you through. lads, come with me. Right, rest of the fleet. Head down to the Allegheny. For some reason, my button doesn't want to quite click the bottom end. You might have noticed that on my thing. That arrow disappears at the bottom. Just a weird quirk of this uh, particular running system, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to put one more random one halfway along to this turret, to the uh, sensor array over there. And, oh, I have a random Voyager sitting around. Come and help me, Voyager. And a star base over here is nearly done. And this time, with two planets... I think you might be in trouble, Enemy sir. Engaged. Yes, you are. Uh, with two planets, two metal mining facilities. Complete. We can meet the Allegheny. Where are we needed? Repair that ship. You know what Ready the whole plan was, yes, to repair, repair the ship. That ship. That's where you're needed. Research commenced. Thank you, Enterprise. Our systems are now coming back online. Fantastic. What happened here, Captain? When we first arrived in J356, sensor scans revealed several Borg bases in the system. I ordered the third fleet to engage, and as the battle was underway, a fleet of species 8472 vessels appeared and proceeded to attack both ourselves and the Borg. We took the brunt of their assault, but eventually managed to drive them off. But at a high price. We are all that remains of the Third Fleet. The Borg appeared to suffer heavy casualties as well, but we lost sensor contact with them after the battle. We're lucky you arrived when you did, as we expected them to return at any time to finish us off. We also acquired some data from a derelict Borg vessel that may prove useful to Starfleet. You're with us now, Captain. 
Our orders are to locate and eliminate any remaining Borg ships or stations in this system. We can't allow the Borg to threaten our hold on the transwarp portal. Find the nearest shipyard. Enemy okay, engaged. so yes, we can't we can't afford to let them take control of the ship of the uh, transport portal. That is absolutely true, Picard. Absolutely true. However, 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 what are we now doing? <laughs> Still here, if Species 8472 are around. That seems absolutely, absolute lunacy. I mean, these are Species 8472, right? So, what, a couple shots, they just destroy a board cube? They rip them to shreds, they didn't destroy... I think, what, nine of those bioships destroyed a, a planet. Um, these guys... <laughs> You know, the Borg are supposed to be the OP people around here, and they absolutely... Tore, got torn apart by Species 8472. Um, yeah, it seems kind of ludicrous at this point that you're not just re-evaluated. Maybe fine, maybe we just clear the system. But it seems ludicrous that we're not now thinking... Got a big fleet over here. Um, yeah, it seems ludicrous that we're not now just thinking, right, well, maybe we'll clear about this system and we'll just destroy the transport portal and go home sort of thing. Because <laughs> let's just leave Species 8472 to deal with the Borg, honestly. Um... Let's just not let Species 472 come here. Let's just close the Station portal, complete. go home, and stay out of Starting it. Sometimes complete. staying out of the problem is the better thing to do. I'm Standing just going to send by. that third fleet back over there. Allegheny, you are now the ninth, the eighth fleet. You two are now Assertion the eighth report. fleet. You sit there and you don't get eliminated. <laughs> uh. I apologise, nothing. Okay, we are getting a few assaults on us here, but I think at this point we're doing alright because we've got ourselves a star base and torpedo turret in this area now. Which means that they should not be able to be getting through. We should be fairly solid. Um, not a mining freighter, I'm a construction ship. But I will recruit this station because it does increase their ability to defend. Now, I was going to build myself another torpedo turret. It looks like it's kind of needed, so I'm going to go shove one down there. Is that venture to guard in it? Ah, oh, how lovely. The Partisan. It's quite a nice system, this. There's quite a lot of... Quite a, a few planets and things, you know. Asteroid fields blocking around. It's uh, nicely um, guarded off. Ooh, look, Akira. So, yeah, she said, we're the only ones who survived. Well, yeah, I keep finding random other ships. So, it's Akira and this Sabre class, both of whom... Just needs some crew, and then they re can return to base. It's very nice, isn't it? Um, right, research proximity. Not you. We want the combine reflector. Because honestly, I can start Enemy getting out engaged. some sovereigns Station very soon. They don't cost a lot of metal, so I'm just going to get going with those. Crew is probably the thing we're lacking, actually, with regards to these. That is a good point. We'd probably just be lacking on crew. So maybe I might hold back on the order just for the moment, actually. It's because we are a little bit behind on crew. You'll notice actually in uh, the Delta Quadrant there don't seem to be any inhabitable worlds. And I don't know if that's just supposed to be because it's a dead part of space. Obviously they've got this green hue the whole time, I guess, just to make you feel like you're in the Delta Quadrant. But I don't know, maybe it's supposed to represent the fact that the Borg have already kind of like, you know, deced... Well, they, they've already complete. taken Insulation over crew. and assimilated and dealt with all the planets. So it's almost as if, Station you know, there's nothing... Complete. Nothing left after their Scorch Earth. But I don't know really. It's it, it's a little bit odd, but it might just be to increase the All difficulty. Make you realise No, so. no, 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 no. To make you realise so. that um Yeah, to make you realise that the star bases are kind of important for generating your own crew, which is why I've got three of them here. This one might seem a little bit excessive, but it is quite useful for me with the crew. Uh, particularly with the Sovereigns, which take up a huge amount of crew, 700 for each ship, which is what's slowing me down right now. Um, but obviously, one of the things we're going to face here is, you know, we talked about Space 8472, and, right, so in, in terms of um, the program, it was obviously a really good trope that, you know, suddenly the Borg had this great Borg-like threat that they, you know, they couldn't assimilate them. Their Starship weapons didn't complete. seem to do any damage. Um, the only way I can seem to remember the Borg destroying any of the um, 8472 bio ships was I think one cube smashed into it Enemy when it was trying to get through to the Voyager. Um, but I'm not sure you could really generally as a as a plan, you know, plan just to ram them and with your sheer size and mass. 
Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, these guys just, you know, especially for someone to tore them apart. And uh, sometimes with these games, you kind of start to play too much with the lore and it starts to annoy, um, or, you know, it starts to irritate the geek inside people. For me, I don't really mind too much, but um, I suppose I'm not being trekky at the end of the day or anything like that. I enjoy the games, I enjoy the show, but, um, you know, either way, like, Special for 7 should be this overwhelming force, and obviously to make the game balanced, they are something you play as, so the game makes them far more light than they should be. I know with the Borg, for example, they make their ships more powerful, but um, a lot more expensive. And I think, you know, that makes some sense, albeit maybe it should be a bit more extreme, but Special for 8 7 2 I find when I play as them, I quite like playing as them. The start is very slow, and you quite easily get killed at the start, but once you've got through the start, you are just going to dominate. And whilst they are strong, and obviously the Borg can't assimilate them, etc., they are they are nowhere near as powerful as they should be. You know, they would turn up and destroy several Borg cubes in a couple, in like three or four shots. You know, they, they destroy a planet with a few of them, as I said earlier. You know, and it took Janeway and the Borg Alliance, you know, to come up with those biomolecular warheads to blow them up. Um, blew up, what, four of them, and then they... I think they destroyed like 13 of them, didn't they, with a warhead afterwards Starship. to kind of make their point. But, you know, that was that was quite an extreme, you know, that, that, that can't really be replicated in a game like this. So, I don't know, it's that kind of awkward balance where it, it almost destroys the whole the whole power of, of species like the Borg or 8472, where, you know, their sheer immeasurable destructiveness, you know... The fact that they're, you know, like in Stellaris, they're that in-game crisis almost, Speech State 472. You thought the Borg were the bad ones, you know, the, the evil hive mind that everyone's al allied against to destroy. But no, it's not that at all. It's, um, Research. yeah, they're not okay. quite as powerful as they could be. And it kind of destroys a bit of the aura of them. I mean, it's fun to battle them. It's fun to take them on. But I don't know. I think for some people it annoys them. For me, I don't really mind too much. But um, I don't know. Could be balanced better. Right, on to our fleet then. We are just about ready with our last Sovereign popping out there. I've just about used my officers. I've quite a few on torpedo turrets because, honestly, I was ready for that assault on my base from the south this time. And it hasn't come! Or if it did come, it just got destroyed so instantaneously I didn't notice. But, yeah, it hasn't arrived at all, which is, I think, quite rude. So, um, yes. Anyway, we're going to get headed off very soon. Yes, back to the fleet anyway. So you'll notice in the fleet, a bit like last time we got the Nebula class. I don't think we had the Gemini effect last time though. The Gemini effect is very cool. You'll get to duplicate, as you might expect, a ship. So basically you end up having like double sovereigns. It's brilliant. He'll probably duplicate the the, uh, the repair ships or something silly. Uh, and then we've got the Shield Enhance with the Aegeans over here. So I put a couple of those two in, as well as a couple of repair ships with the sovereigns. And then we've got a fleet of Intrepids with a couple of Kiras with their chain reaction pulsars just to come in and help. I know there's a little base up here, little base, yeah, that's a more of a mining base, so we're going to go and clear off their we're mining the bases and things first, and then we'll go off for the main Rebel one stations. shortly after that. So we're going to head off to this moon Rebel first, stations. and we'll see what we can do. Over here, yeah, we're getting some metal now, and that's really showing. Um, honestly, I don't care if that gets destroyed, you guys might as well get Enemy decommissioned. Engaged. You guys might as well head back to base and just protect it. These guys are on, in fact you guys head here, these intrepids here are kind of on guard duty, but to be honest, once you've got three or four torpedo turrets around a planet, there's no way they're going to destroy that without a proper invasion force. With a starbase too, there's no way they can do anything. Um, you'll notice I do have quite a lot of the um, pods already, I've already upgraded set, like the weapons and the shield, so we're in a fairly good position. I thought they might have something around here, so we'll just destroy their fleet one. We'll just destroy we this. Thank you. And with a victory sip, then I will move on to the next bit. Fleet two, can you head off over here? There are so many like um, so many planets around this system. There's ridiculous amounts of resources if you want to use them. Just none for crew. Someone's behind us, but I'm not sure it honestly matters. I'm going to put you on medium, because I don't want you... Someone wants to get killed. Um, I don't actually want you to get yourselves caught up, lads. I might have actually... I might have just completely missed the actual uh, main crew there. I'm just going to get some more pumped out, actually. I do have some spare crew. 
Starship construction. And I'll just honestly get on with those at this point because that's the main thing. I think honestly we've pretty much dealt with it. Right. So fleet one over here, fleet two over here, and we'll get in and finish off this little base here. I think this is more of a mining base. No, it has actually got a nexus. Has got a nexus. So let's get ourselves heading in. Unlike Starship before, I complete. should actually be timing my upgrades fine. I've pretty much got the important ones. I think it's sensors or engines I'm doing at the moment. I've already done one engine, Where so hopefully we'll get a chance here to see the Gemini effect, which would be lovely. Fleet 2, you go for the Stand Nexus, by. please. Starship yep, complete. lovely. Insufficient officers. And there we are. Can we have the Gemini Starship effect on this ship, for Connect. example? No, you've already used it. I can't actually see it there. We are tearing through them. There are actually quite a few ships here. My uh, second fleet has taken a fair bit of hit, but obviously that's the Intrepids and um, alongside some repair ships and Akira, so that was always going to take some heavy damage. Starship Honestly, they're Borg are doing quite a lot of damage here. Some diamonds, quite a few cubes. Bit of rebuilding actually to do before the uh, the final base assault. This base is a little bit stronger than I realised. But Ready Fleet 1's me. mostly fine. It's only Fleet 2 that headed straight in. Oh, guys, head away from those turrets. It's horrible. Bye. Right, guys, get on those torpedo turrets now. How are our um, special orders. abilities looking? Gemini, please double Ship that. Oh, it's just doing it by itself, isn't it? Oh well, we'll, we'll I'll, I'll tell them. I'll turn it off in a minute, and we'll do it ourselves. Starship complete. You guys can you just mop up since your fleet's mostly destroyed. This is probably actually the main base, and that's probably a little tiny thing just with a nexus or something. Um, we prob we're probably just about done here. But yeah, I don't know the the fact that we're obviously clearing them out of the system. Fair enough, you know. Let's clear our backs before we leave. But honestly, let's leave. Destroy the the transwarp gates and let's just head home. Let's not worry about Space 8472 right now. It's honestly not worth it. Jane Way will deal with them. You know she's fine. She'll sort us out. Uh, this, this plan gets slightly more ludicrous. I mean, what was a slightly well an ambitious plan, if not completely ludicrous, has become. Oh my God! There's another net. Guys, pull out! 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 Pull out. Days, I did not know there's another nexus here. Guys, get out of there. These guys might as well finish this off. Right, that probably is the main base, isn't it? Yes, yes, I think it is. Okay, let us send Starship. these lads over here. Transwarp signatures detected. Enemy uh, engaged. Uh, oh no, they're going to start. Transwarp signatures. It's where Species 8472 re emerge, isn't it, and destroy my metal facility. Where are we needed? Right. Oh, it's been shot. Just leave! Coordinates. Starship okay, Starship. we have most of our fleet wiped out at this point. Standing by. Transport signatures, so interesting. I'm just gonna get some more intrepids out. Just because they are, you know, useful little ships. Crew. We are so low on crew though, it's a bit of a problem. Crew. Ready and able. So fleet We're one head in. Right, everybody head in. Look at that amount Ready of torpedo turrets. That's Good absolutely mental. Ready and able. Shh, guys, yes, get in over here. Enemy engaged. Ready Use your reflectors if you've got them. Starship. Gemini Starship. effect Station on this guy. Do attack. something useful. Ready and able. Oh dear. Be ready for anything. Are you able just to do this? Ship at full readiness. Okay. Ship at full readiness. Ah, that's what they're talking about, that transport gate. Um It doesn't save doing anything about that gate about saving it, so uh Give the word. Can you stop shooting at that though and shoot at the things that are really doing the damage, such as the Nexus or torpedo turrets? Because they are horrendous. Okay, the transport signatures was talking about this here. It just there seemed to be an, a, an act of something in that corner there, so I thought it was something to do with them. Be ready for right, can my dear Gemini here? Ship at full readiness. 
Enemy engaged. Starship. Lovely. Oh, there's another Nexus. Oh my days, this is ridiculous. Change heading. Get yourself out of there, lads. And able. Just pull out for a moment. Just pull out. And able. Why are you still attacking Awaiting it? Orders. Awaiting orders. Okay, well, Ready I think we've really crippled them, but they've absolutely destroyed us as well. Let us send our ships Starship to go and do with that. Where's the mining freighter going? Oh, let's put it to the Latium. Honestly, lads, just do commission. We could do with the crew. <laughs> uh, and same with some of these guys. Just decommission. They won't let me decommission these guys, will they? If I split this up, which half of it getting destroyed do they care about? Um... Repair ships, come over here and come and heal us. Okay, there's another Nexus. It's just ludicrous how much how much there is in the space over here. So if I just show you now the Gemini effect, it will do its little thingy. Woo! We have two! Which is kind of funky for a little while. So that's kind of the idea of it, but I didn't really get to show you properly. I probably pressed it and I probably just didn't notice, because I think because the shot the takes a bit of time. Um, oh, there we are, we're at a dilithium here as well. You guys, can you all just decommission, decommission at this point? And we'll just get our fleet together and we'll finish them off. But yes, there you are, that is that is basically what the, um, the De Gemini effect doing does. So, obviously if you Oh, I was going to say, did I decommission that? No, that's the extra one. So yes, yeah, so you can obviously use the Gemini effect quite effectively. If you've got four or five of them, you can basically end up with four or five of these, uh, four or five extra of your sovereigns there, which is just marvellous. I'm just so low on crew in this mission, it's really upsetting. Set your rally point over here, it's fine. Be ready for anything. Be ready for anything, including mass, mass horrendous, painful death. Because that's what's Starship about to befall you. Commencing. Enemy engaged. So we're going to Gemini effect onto that one over there. If it stops moving, it might actually get hit by it. Yay, we have double. That's just cool. Look at that. Now the next has gone down. Perfect. And we'll just take out whatever's left at this point. There is another Nexus over there. Well, there are three Nexus in this base. I don't know if it wants we to do anything comply. specific with this uh, transport right. portal, but we'll destroy it in a minute if we need to. Let's send these lads Entering over coordinates. here, and we can obviously send them to finish off the last bit of the base. Let's heal up that guy. He looks a bit weak. And in general, we are just sending people up Standing to go by. finish off any Borg that are around. Can you please go and destroy that, weapons. lad? Because that's not very helpful to us. We'll go finish off anything Fire left weapon. over here. Uh, oh, they have an infinite mine over there. That's not really going to have been helpful for me all this time. And you are the new Fleet 1 because obviously every other Fleet 1 has been absolutely annihilated. Yeah, that was clearly their main base and this is clearly their just little secondary base up here. So, uh, oh well, we could have done that all better, can we? So, oh well, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Awaiting orders. And I think we've taken over this bit nice and easily. Yeah, the thing was PCF for 7 2, they were, they were kind of that cool, you know, there's always a bigger fish, just to throw in a bit of Star Wars into your Star Trek. But, you know, there's always a bigger fish, and I think that's, you know, it was kind of cool to throw that in there. Even if, obviously, uh, you know, the whole plot defense mechanism means that Janeway is always going to somehow survive it. But it was a it was a cool little story arc, so can't complain about that. I've always found them quite fascinating, but you know you end up getting um, something people that having that discussion of you know oh you Shit, know they were just defending themselves. Is. Yeah, sure they were, but they did just say basically you're we're going to purge your galaxy, which if I'm Ready honest sounds an awful torpedoes. lot like you know I don't know <laughs> xenophobic kind of a. Uh, Destroyers of what I, you know, whatever the kind of uh, phrase would be for Engines them. Default. They just Enemy want everyone engaged. else dead, basically, don't they? Fanatical purifies is probably the Stellaris way of referring to it. Indeed, that kind of seems as we see it. Four seven two R. So we'll leave that transport portal for a moment. I think though this is the end of all the other Borg stuff, and eliminate them all. The Borg, fine. There's another little thing over here. Ready phasers and resource collector. Once we dealt with that, 
We will go on to cave for search and destroy. But to be honest, I'm pretty sure it's just this at this point. Another resource collector spawned out of nowhere. It's been five minutes now. I've just been on all these ships search and destroy. Surely that's the last. No? Oh my days, where are they? I can't find the last of the Borg. Normally they're desperately trying to kill you and I can't find them at all. Go and kill someone. New lads, go and kill. I'm actually spawning new ships here. I'm actually building new ships at the end of the here. Just so I can find them. How many better sensor range? Oh, they've got another... Starship complete. Some processing node over here that's been built. Uh, we're not very good at search and destroy, it turns out. But I think this is the last, he says for the fifth time. Thank you, Janeway. We have cleared system Finally. G356 of the board. <laughs> we are now in the process of analysing the data acquired by Captain Nomura. Hopefully, this data will assist us in our search for the Borg staging grounds, so that the sacrifice made by the Third Fleet will not have been in vain. Oh, God. It... While the identity of the race that attacked both the Borg and the Third Fleet remains a mystery, Namura's description of their ships seems to indicate it may be the race known to the Borg as species 8472. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure they told us that, but okay. Right, there we are. That took about 8-10 minutes at the end, just with all of my ships and search and destroy to actually win. Probably seeing the timeline, like, that's obviously when I destroyed everything. It was just ages like that. Right, okay. So, there we go. It turns out they had a triple, triple nexus and about 10 torpedo turret base over there. Slightly ridiculous, but there we go. Uh... Ajian, did you do anything? You killed a Borg cube, you killed a Borg cube and a turret. So well done, that's something, eh? You took two and one for one, so I suppose that's all you can ask it to do. Marvellous work. Well, there we are, that's another one for today, and our ludicrous missions just go on. God knows what Picard is thinking and what the Federation are doing anymore, because honestly, sometimes you just need to think, we will leave them to go and kill each other and we'll worry about that later I don't know anyway right I'm Thomas it's a nurse human and I've been playing Star Trek Armada too thank you and good night death and violence will come to you this is a beautiful beautiful town by the way guys let's go and smash it up dum tum how did you die what is happening to my men Steve he was the one man who tried!